conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay Prince. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. What's up, Black Voice Nation? Hope everything's going well. Uh, taking a break from my day, heading to uh, the gym to get a quick workout and uh, preparing for uh, our first segment, uh, the reintroduction of the Black Voice uh, as a radio channel. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. Uh, man, what, seven, eight years? The Black Voice has been going in one format or another. We're going to definitely keep the YouTube thing going. Uh, we're going to launch the radio from the YouTube channel uh, so that we have uh, the backing and the, and the philosophy and the theme and all of that uh, remains cohesive. We're probably going to change the podcast from the, de the desk of Rick Wallace to the Black Voice as well. Uh, so... We're going to get all of those things lined up, and that's going to be a process. So look forward to that. Again, I want to encourage everyone out there who has been following us uh, for years, from 10 years ago to, till today, wherever you jumped in. And if you're aware of the work we do in the community and you believe in what we're doing, show us some love. We need your financial support. Uh, go to the description box in this video or if you're watching it on another platform outside of youtube which is possible uh look in the content area of the video the post area of the video and at the top you'll see a paragraph that shows you how you can support us whether you do it directly from our site or you go to our donor uh platform or you use our cash app account uh the thing is we need your support uh i mean for uh, anywhere from a dollar up, we need your support. All right, I want to take a real brief message. I'm not going to get too in-depth right now, but I just want to take a message uh, to iterate a point that I've been making uh, incessantly over the last six months or so as we started moving towards the climax of the election. We've got to be more inclined towards reason, rationale, critical thought, uh, strategy and strategy agency and agenda. We are still too highly charged emotionally. Uh, we are still still too easily manipulated through media propaganda and media re, uh, presentation. Uh, we tend to trust what the media presents to us without challenge, unless it is in diametric opposition to what we hold as our primary beliefs. Then we'll challenge it. Uh, the, the goal in life, and it's so important that we understand this, is growth. It's not the defense of a pos current position. It is the growth into something new, something better, something beyond what you have already accomplished, achieved, or um, obtained. And the only way you do that is through changing your thinking to in being engaged by new ideas, new thoughts, new possibilities. And that means that you can't become uh, so in, in, indulged and entrenched in a thought or belief that you cannot consider other options, alternatives, and possibilities. Uh, that's called stagnancy. That's called being locked in. That's called being conditioned and indoctrinated. You have to be willing to grow. You have to be willing to engage and think. That's why despite the level of learning that I've done, and I'm not talking about academically, I'm talking about what I've done didactically, what I've done by doing my own research, by taking my skills that I've developed in academia and really truly going out and searching and finding the answers. Despite all of that, there's absolutely nobody I'm not willing to listen to. There's nobody that can't teach me something. There's nobody that can't open my eyes or challenge me in some way. And so I'm always open. As long as it's done respectfully, I have no problem with it. But what we can't do is be so caught up in letting someone else write our narrative, write our story, give us our reality. And that has been happening consistently. If you haven't read Propaganda, a, a, a book, whoa, man, published, I believe, in 1933 by Edward Bernays, who is considered to be the father of modern day public relations. 
Uh, if you haven't read propaganda and understand how media mediums are used to control public opinion, public thought, public movement, you, 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 you're missing something and you're not equip, equipping yourself with what it takes. Uh, the Super Bowl is the most watched event every year around the world bar none and businesses play 3.5 million and up for a 30 second slot they bid for it uh, on the Super Bowl and depending on what quarter it is or whether it's the halftime show they bid for these and they paying in multi-millions for 30 seconds do you really think these people would be paying that much money for 30 seconds if that 30 seconds wouldn't have an impact and that's just 30 seconds. That's a one-time hit. But it will have an impact. Why? Because the people who are watching it will have a high emotional charge because they're excited about what they're watching, meaning that what they see during that period of time will have a stronger imprint on their mind. That's just basic psychology. But uh, if you haven't read that, also read Brain Brainwashed by Tom Burrell. Tom Burrell is a brother who owned one of the largest and most successful uh, communications companies and public relations companies uh, ever. Uh, he's, he's, he's the CEO of uh, Emeritus now. He's retired, uh, but he wrote a very, very powerful book called Brainwash. You need to watch it. I mean, you need to read it because it's going to give you some insight on how media has been used to control the mindset, the idea, uh, self-concept, self-image, and self-awareness, self-work, self-confidence of blacks specifically. So we have to be aware that the media is always at work and it's not just with blacks, it's with everybody. The average person is a target one way or another. How they are targeted and what they are targeted for, how they are being used is all different, but they're all being targeted. I said all that to say this. I, I'm watching. Look, 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 I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to keep it simple. Look, what we got to do is actually start thinking. Uh, I've seen a lot of people around social media. I've seen a lot of people celebrating and emotionally charged because their candidate won, they chose. Uh, I've seen people completely ignore all of the evidence and the facts solely based on how they feel about somebody, solely based upon their emotions. They're not thinking beyond that. Uh, I'm not telling you who you should have chosen. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to say that we've got to be careful. Also, you may be celebrating prematurely, and that's because you, again, don't understand how things work. All right, the election. That's why right now, if you start reading around, you'll see that the uh, media is saying that Joe Biden is the projected uh, president of the United States or the president-elect of the United States. And what that meant is the general election has chosen Joe Biden, that he has won enough electoral votes through the electoral college that he is now selected. Uh, first thing is, I believe December the 8th, but I know in December, the electoral college has to actually cast its votes. What you have to understand is while it is uh, not traditional to venture off of it, it's not. It's, it has been done that an, an elector has chosen not to go with the electoral or what the general election said and vote in another direction. This was purposely set up this way so that there's always a way to control and manipulate who goes into office. Um, and so what happens is on December the 8th, if I'm not mistaken, the electoral college cast it vote its votes. If it holds to exactly what the general election has uh, set forth, at that particular point in time, again, uh, the election will have established Joe Biden as president, but it still has to be certified by Congress. Uh, Congress will do this roughly about two weeks before um, the inauguration ceremony is supposed to take place. Uh, and that is when you will specifically have it at but any time between that time you're still looking at situations and possibilities of court action legal action it's not likely but it is an avenue and we do know that donald trump is not necessarily one to sit up and, and, and bow out easily so while it is likely a done deal don't count your eggs before it hatches that that's what don't but my whole thing is there are bigger uh issues at hand here what are we getting 
now that most of blacks have gotten what they want, what, what, what are we getting for it? Did we even get a chance to make our demands or were we put on the back burner from day one? Were we, were, was our vote taken for granted because we historically vote 90% Democrat? 90% of registered voters who vote, vote Democrat. So were we taken for granted? Did we get anything put on the, on the docket? Do we have an agenda in front of this person? Do we know what they mean? And everything that I've seen says no, absolutely not. Uh, he has made sure that we understand that his focus is going to be the LGBTQ community, He's, that there's going to be some issues on uh, environment and some other things. Some dreamers, immigrants are going to get some of this time. All this other stuff, there's actually no specific thing ever mentioned specifically. There was a bunch of stuff they threw out there when uh, it seemed like Donald Trump was coming up with out his ass with, with, with a plan for blacks. They threw up something up there. But the truth of the matter is they have not specifically in any way committed to serving the interests of blacks in any way. He he hasn't even mentioned uh, undoing by pardon what he did with his bill. He would be absolutely capable of doing that through executive order. He could pardon all of the men who have served more than five years under that form of, uh, under that bill that has men locked, black men locked up for what white kids are doing on college campuses every day. We haven't held him to the fire. We're going to sit up and give him the same passes we gave Barack Obama and just be happy that, they, that he's in office. We're going to be happy that Donald Trump is gone, but we're not going to get anything for it except that happy feeling that we get. It's time to stop celebrating uh, black faces and white liberals in places uh, and not getting anything for it. It's time to stop giving our vote away for free. On that note, I'm going to get ready to get off of here. I wasn't meant to be that time. I'm at the gym. Been here for a while. I'm going to get off and go take care of my business. You guys have an unbelievable day. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here. Dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group. I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. First of all, I want to thank everyone for all the love and support that you have given uh, and sent my way and my wife's way and the organization's way. Now I want to just take a brief moment to remind you that we still need your support. We still need your help. Go to the description box of one of our videos and see how you can support the work we're doing. Keep supporting, keep loving us, and we're going to keep loving you back. Have an awesome day. Better than Jay. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.